I love that the magazine is not only um, on purely scientific subjects, it also addresses the broader issues related to the practice. And there are other articles that really portrays the humans who are behind IMCAS. It's nice to read about other interests and expertise um, that the doctors have outside of their practice. Um, we'll be able to meet two of the doctors that are featured in the magazine here in the studio with Lauren. Um, do, who do we have with us today? So we have Dr. Patrick Tracy. Yeah. Who is an aesthetic physician um, based in Ireland. Uh, very interesting character, very interesting <laughs> story. Um, Dr. Tracy has treated quite a, he's, he's, he's really been a pioneer in, in the industry um, and was someone who did a lot of the early injections with Botox and so he's, he's very knowledgeable and um, he's treated a, a high profile of, of a lot of patients. Well, I suppose, um I was living in Australia when the opportunity came up, like a lot of my colleagues, for the formation of aesthetic medicine. Three things happened at the one time. Um, Botox became quite popular in about 1996. Um, a friend of ours, um, uh, I mean, Shake House had developed, I suppose, IPL in 1998. Patrick Bitter ran the first um, trials on it and derma fillers had come through in 1996. So the opportunity to put them all together and form a new branch of aesthetic medicine happened, I think, just by default. And um, I had originally intended doing plastic surgery, but because of other things in my life, that sort of got held up. Mm. And particularly, you'd have to stay in the one place for quite a long time if you wanted to do plastic surgery. And um, I was a born traveler. So aesthetic medicine really seemed to be the way out. And in the early stages, um, we had the benefits of a lot of Americans coming particularly to Ireland um, to get hyaluronic acid. So we had uh, developed techniques, particularly in terms of reversal of it. I think our clinic was the first in the world that I'm aware of to use hyaluronides um, to remove dermal fillers back in 2001. And then of course, when people like Michael Jackson, I suppose, had fillers put in that he, by Arnie Klein that he wanted removed. He came to Ireland to get it done. So in the early stages, this was quite exciting. But Botox is very exciting in the early stages as well because we were using it in the late 90s, that's the, the last century.